drum brake sports cars, 1948 to 1955, and a, a great start from the power from Cunningham of Sam Hancock on pole position. Everyone behaving beautifully behind as they headed to Madwick and turned into the setting sun. Steve Bolby Brooks putting his Aston Martin into second place and holding off as he kept Wakeman on the outside in the C-type. Martin Hunt gaining ground on the inside in the Fraser Nash, but no one could hold a candle. Already halfway, quarter way around the opening lap, we've got uh, the Cunningham breaking clear. The Aston Martin holding down second place. Then the Jaguar C-Type, then the Fraser Nash, and right at the back of the field, Richard Woolmer starting his charge. We'll see more of him anon. Bolby Brooks then soon had the Conrad Ulrich Maserati up onto his tail, making a challenge, but challenging him in turn around the outside on the run down between Fordwater and the Kink prior to St. Mary's comes the HWM Cadillac with young Richard Woolmer on board. He wasn't afraid to slide the car, and he certainly gave Steve Boltby Brooks a few scary moments as he got closer and closer and challenged in all sorts of places. But the Aston Martin held on, and this was the moment that had the heart in the mouth for everybody who saw it, because going around the outside and touching the dirt, but a big twitch saved before Richard Woolmer got it back together and had to accept third place was his. Steve Boltby Brooks would take second place, but Cunningham took victory with Sam Hancock. I mean, I've been insulted by Alan Menu. I've been strangled by Ricard Rydell. Very grunty Nissan engine in the back, as we heard down there on the start line.